Hi everybody, Dan on Nine Less Today. Happy New Year. Happy 2022. All from Baggy and I. That's my, uh, that's my buddy here. He likes to come down here and mess around a little bit. Which is been down here since he was a baby. It's been quite a while since I've been uh, on the air. I uh, to on the air video. Was a pink ass. I remember it was a one. Um, I'm just sitting here doing some CW. The bands are better than they were the last couple of years. I figured I'd come in here and do some code and talk about copying code and how to become a better operator. And a lot of y'all got some really shiny new toys and uh, you're really wanting to do some BXing and, and Maybe hit the paddle or, or the straight key. I, I do both. I'm much more proficient at the straight key. Um, I've got a couple of them here. I've got my no name, which I love. And this is literally no name. I don't know what to call it. And then I've got my Pagali Spark, which is great key also. But I've also got a K4 Chinese key. And then I've got the, uh, the first key my dad ever gave me. And that's right here. I use that practice key. Uh, but today, I really want to just talk about um, enjoying the hobby. What do you enjoy? You know, I've got, I got a signal link up here. I can do advanced signals and stuff. Me, personally, I love code. I've been doing code since 1984. Um, when I went to a more center sector school for the United States Army back at Fort Dennis. And I did that up until uh, mid to late 1994. And I got my hand license at, uh, right around Fort Meade back in 1993. So it's coming up on 30 years here, another year or so. And I'm excited about that. Uh, my family's got a lot of ham radio operators in it. And I'm really the only one that does the Morse code. Um, I've had people ask me, you know, how, how do you become proficient at Morse code? Isn't it difficult? Well, first of all, you got to learn it. And that's the most difficult part. And um, then you get the speed up. Well, how do you get the speed up? You listen. You listen. Um, I do a lot of sending, obviously. I, I enjoy transferring, but in order to get good, a lot of times I'll just fire one of these bad boys up and listen. See what's going on. Copy it in my head. Copy the first letter. Copy, copy a dip in the dial. Dip in the dial is an A. And then maybe a couple of characters that spell a word and a couple of words that make a sentence. Uh, I can't do paragraphs. <laughs> but I can do sentences. And uh, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty good at uh, copying between 15 and, and uh, 20 plus in my head. Um, some stuff I miss. And then I just ask them to repeat. I haven't known a hand radio operator up there yet that hasn't missed something. So, uh, regardless how long you've been doing this, you miss. But yeah, you get out there and listen, and, and don't use any filters on those nice radios. Just leave it as is. I don't want any filters on my 940, 450, I do. And it, the code is coming through the speaker on the radio, which is covered up by another radio. It's just kind of hard to hear, but I was able to copy a, a guy over in Long Island. He was huge. We, we had this 15 minute two set, it was great. I loved it. Probably one of the best CW you know, two sets I've had in a while. It was a lot of fun. So, yeah, just spinning green. That's what we used to call it, spinning green pine station. And just, you know, like kick back, have you a cup of coffee, a water, a beer, a glass of wine, whatever it is. And just uh, don't let anybody buy you. Put your headsets on. Uh, or better yet, do without headsets. Because headsets. You can um, get the outside noise out. Sure. And I could have a dishwasher running, and my wife could be watching TV. Uh, grandkids might be over uh, trampling up above, the, up above my shack in the kids' room, whatever. But, and if I can still copy what's going on that thing without headsets, then I know with headsets I can do really, really well. But anyway, it's just my thing. Get out there and plug those videos in and get down on the CW frequencies 
And he's going to listen. Maybe I'll hear you someday. Or never yet. Maybe you'll hear me. If you do, please make a comment. God bless for the new year. God bless you and your families. 73. This is Dan. Dan. Peggy. K-I-T-T-Y. Wishing you all the best for 2022.